I've been asked all sorts of questions, but the one I hear most often is can physiotherapy help my condition physiotherapy assesses, diagnoses treats and prevents a wide range of health conditions and movement disorders. It helps reduce pain and repair damage, while increasing mobility and improving quality of life in some instances. It can be an effective replacement. Spent the surgical, intervention, obviously not all conditions can be cured by physiotherapy alone, but help it can certainly do. So today, I'd like to focus on a condition that still creates controversy when mentioned alongside physiotherapy and that is scoliosis. Can physiotherapy make an impact on someone suffering from this condition in particular, mild to moderate scoliosis? Let's find out. Scoliosis isn't always easy to treat, but understanding this condition and its related issues will help a physiotherapist determine the best possible options. The scoliotic spine has one or more curves to either side exceeding 10 degrees. It can resemble a C or an S shape. What makes it difficult to treat? is that the majority of cases have no known cause to specific types are easy to deal with however, structural scoliosis, which results from the developments of the musculoskeletal system and functional scoliosis, which occurs from muscle imbalances leg, length discrepancy, these and inflammation of the tissues. These both have definite causes allowing us to create an individualized and comprehensive treatment plan. Physiotherapy is but one part of the multidisciplinary network of healthcare professions employed in the treatment of scoliosis. A confirmed diagnosis comes firstly from a thorough physical examination for any abnormalities and asymmetry. If scoliosis is suspected, then an X-ray will be taken to confirm. What's known as the patient's Cobb angle or severity of the scoliosis from here. Physiotherapists work closely with dogs and specialists in determining the best options, going forward. I believe a good multifaceted approach to this is ideally broken down into four distinct phases. The first of these in my program is pain relief, although not all scoliosis sufferers will experience pain or even discomfort many do for these patients. Vision of pain relief assists with compliance and also with corrective or prevention. Exercises physiotherapists have a variety of techniques for achieving this such as the releasing of tight muscles through gentle massage acupuncture and the use of supportive postural taping and various electrotherapy modalities such as ultrasound place 2 is a particularly important step for several. It's for rectifying any imbalances through stretching and strengthening exercises. This often still includes taping techniques until strength and flexibility of increased physiotherapy here focuses on both sides of the spine as well as adjacent areas like the hip or shoulder depending on what's impacting spinal alignment. The aim is to restore the range of motion of the spine, muscle length and strength, as well as endurance and core stability. This stage is paramount for allowing ongoing treatments in phase 3 to occur. This is because, it's there that the patient requires the strength and flexibility gained in phase 2 in order to resume normal activities. These include sports and recreation, which is the objective. Most patients have in mind during the treatment process is where we aim to restore full function. This is where we as physiotherapists need to tailor rehabilitation to the specific patients, so they can safely achieve their functional goals. This of course includes trained athletes who place great stress upon their bodies. So caution must be taken when giving advice and strong encouragement is needed for 2. Realistic recovery times. The final phase is undoubtedly the most important in terms of full recovery. And this is the prevention of a recurrence. This relies heavily on the partnership between physiotherapist and patient by this. I mean, we identify the optimal exercises for the patient to continue and it's then up to them to maintain these exercises throughout the course of their life here to other professions, may be utilized, for example. In the case of an unequal leg length, a podiatrist could address this with a heel, rise, she rise or built up foot orthotic. What patients expect to achieve you fan. What is achieved varies greatly. However, those with mild to moderate scoliosis who have a commitment to maintaining their newfound strength and flexibility can expect a full recovery, especially if diagnosed and treated early.
Physiotherapy is a vital part of this recovery and prevention and should never be underestimated. So, the next time you're asked to con physiotherapy, help my condition, I'd be inclined to give a firm nod and respond by saying with your commitment, physiotherapy.